Hey everybody, it's Becca J. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited for the eyeshadow palette we are going to try out. The packaging on this is gorgeous. It's called Cageling. Erin, yes, it's by You Can Be. And here it is. Okay, this is the slip cover. Take it out. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the beautiful art and the birds in the cage, the phoenix. I believe they're a phoenix because on the back there's a poem about two lovers as two phoenix lovers. Love and it's hard to see. Love and constancy is dead. Phoenix and the turtle fled in a mutual flame from hence. So they love as love is something had the essence, but if one, two distinct division, none number here in love was slain. Oh, it's William Shakespeare. No wonder I can't read this crap. <laughs> anyway, it's gorgeous and it's got foil embossing on it. Oh, it's so pretty it's so pretty yes and then we open it it opens like this it's got a metal closure look at this oh more artwork see they're not in the cage anymore here they're in the cage not in the cage because the lovers fled look at these colors oh i'm excited and so that is what we're gonna play with today. I'm, I'm thrilled. Okay, let me prime the lids with some MAC and I'll be right back. So I just like, just, this is my second time and I noticed it before too, but this is a brand new thing of the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I got mine in Painterly. I had, last color was soft ochre, it was too yellow for me. But is it just me or did they change the formula or something? Because when you put it on, it's like not as smooth as before. Like it, it kind of pulls and then it's real cakey on there. I don't know. Maybe they changed something. I'm, I want to try that P. Louise. Okay, so they say swatches aren't relevant anymore, but I love swatches because I like to feel the pan. Um, I like to see if it's soft or firm. I like the texture of everything. And then I like to swatch and see them on my skin tone. And when I have a new palette like this, I like to see them and then decide what colors I'm gonna wear then. It's like any art. The medium will look different in the, in the container than it will on the canvas. Okay, so let's do some swatches. Swan, Nightingale, Sparrow, Spoonbill, Dove, Trotulus, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, Flamingo, Shrike, Canary. Starling, Linnet, Phoenix, Robin, Parakeet, and finally Trogon. Ooh, that's all of them. So pretty. I'm excited. Okay, I need to put powder under the eyes and then we can get started. Okay, how's that? I'm a little claustrophobic, but that's okay. Uh, powdered and let's play. But I mean, seriously, oh. And there's foil, oh, I love it. This is gorgeous. Hopefully, so is the quality. Okay, I'm gonna take this pretty lavender dove and put it all over the eye. very subtle which is good 
as a base color. It's, it's pretty, it's soft and it's delicate, yet it's there. Oh, it went on so smooth. It's really pretty. No clumping, no creasing so far, no like patchiness. It went on like smooth pro. It's, wow, it's got a beautiful texture. I like this one. I know it's just one color, but come on. I'm, I can depot it if I had to. It's pretty. Okay, so I'm going in with this color next called Spoonbill. So pretty. I have really heavily lidded eyes, so when I open my eyes, all my color disappears inside my crease like it'll fold back in and it's gone. So that's why I always bring a little bit up right here just the touch so you can actually tell I've done something. This is so pretty, like it's blending so well. Uh, let me see. Okay, gonna take the original brush with nothing extra on it and just kinda blend this out. Soften it up. Oh my gosh. Oh. Do you see this? It's freaking gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, next color. There we go. Okay, I am going to take this flamingo color and put it down on the lid. Oh. Oh my gosh. And I do have fallout on the darker color, but oh. <sighs> okay, now I'm gonna take this Shrike color here and put it in the center like a halo. It's pretty. It's a really pretty foil color. I went ahead and used some of my finger. It's really soft in the pan, so you gotta be easy, but it's so pretty. <laughs> I can't stop saying it's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try this out. See, it looks like a topper. Put it on the center, and then up here and in the corner, and see how it goes. It's so pretty. Okay, now because I do have hooded eyes, I have to go in and blend the halo part out because it transfers up to the top and I used the wrong brush. Of when I look up, it like transfers to the top of the fold. The topper color is really pretty, but it does, it, it gets everywhere. It's, um would be better with a glitter applicator even it's got to have something good to stick to like it did with the foils. I want to try this canary out under the bottom lash line. I'm scared. Okay, and I put yellow here already, but I'm going to try to put some orange over it with this. Where'd it go? This one? The Phoenix? Oh. It's gorgeous. I love it. I I love this. This is amazing. Okay, I'm going to take this color here that I had used up in the eye. Uh I believe it's called the Spoonbill and we're going to use it as a lip. Mm. It was the wrong choice. All right, so let me add some of this linnet to it. It's got a slight shimmer, so we'll see what happens. Oh. That's better. Okay, and I'm gonna try this swan color, this topper, in the center of the lip. 
okay and then I just put it all over my lips but and you can't really see it can you there you go yeah I made like this complete mess I'll work on it in a little bit that's the cool part about using eyeshadow as a lip uh, it's easy to clean up I just need to focus on it oh wow I'm really happy I'm wondering if this topper would be a pretty highlighter. Oh, oh my gosh. Holy crap. This is that swan that's right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited. I think it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Uh, I do need mascara. I am I I'm thrilled cuz the packaging was beautiful, the poem, and then you open it and it's you know, and the whole palette tells a beautiful love story okay and when well I love phoenixes anyway but it, it, it tells a beautiful beautiful story you know and when it works well like it did it was beautiful working with it going on the application it's the whole thing is beautiful not just the packaging but the actual product itself this is my all-time favorite thing I mean this just blew Jeffree Star away I'm sorry I got the jawbreaker palette I love it but it stains me uh, this now these are a bit more softer in the pan they're probably not vegan I don't know but I'm not gonna compare it because this is its own thing and this is so gorgeous. I love the this is genius, you guys. And I got it on AliExpress. It was a little more expensive for a cheaper palette. I think I paid like ten dollars. Um, and that's pretty spendy for an AliExpress eyeshadow palette. But I will leave the link down below. Uh, maybe you can find a cheaper one. I'll just do that. I'll put the information down below and then you could go to AliExpress and you can search for a good price. But this is the You Can Be. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. I have not felt this happy about an eyeshadow palette in a long time, but I mean, come on. But these are also the purples and the mauves and stuff like that. Those are what my go-to colors anyway. I use the Zodiac palette and they're in there. So my pleasure is beyond and above because of the color scheme. You know, and there's a lot more you can work with. Highly pigmented, not patchy. 100% amazing. Okay, if you have it, you want it, you love it, you hate it, leave me a comment and let me know. Just tell me a story. Tell me something that's nice. All right. See you next time. Bye.